Hey guys, Bulldog Gamer here again. Welcome to a new episode of Mass Effect, uh, the first game. Yeah, um, last time we were talking to Ashley and we found out that her sister, her youngest sister, uh, thinks we're hot. And, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but she was embarrassed. And we just found out she, she likes poetry, too. So, uh, that's interesting about her. Let's talk to Garrus. Commander, good to see you. Personal question? You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but... Yeah, I've seen some interesting things. Anything specific? I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit... disturbing. Disturbing? What happened? Why were you investigating I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Is this common? You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market, but they're not as bad as the Cyclones. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs, and was stationed in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear-cut. Turns out, there was more going on than we first realized. Uh, what did you find? So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So we went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. There was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. Krogan, Krogan testicles? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Four testicles in Krogan. Uh, what about the doctor? What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Interviewing? You mean threatened? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. My medics found incisions all over his body. Some of them fresh. That was her big brain. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. That's sick. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes more grow properly, so you just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden, so nobody could see it. Bastard. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. What? Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, the ship was already leaving. We just let him go. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties. The ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. You just used them to make more organs. I, I agree with them. Well, it's not worth the risk. You pursued a vessel and disabled. That's the best choice. They sent the military after him, but he got away just the same. Yes, they did. I went to Patton 
and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't. But at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. You're wrong. If you don't care about the fate of those hostages, then you're no better than he is. You're just a terrorist with a badge. Yeah, maybe you're right. It doesn't make it any easier, but I see your point. I just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Dr. Salion? Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military that they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Get to I'll me. check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Alien, I'm gonna be there when you find it. Alright. So we have that, we're probably gonna do that next, but let's talk to Rex. What do you want, Shepard? Personal inquiry. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Yes. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why leave? Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. Really? What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared. One of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Solarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. And? What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. What about Jared? I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the hollows. Near the graves of Art. Alright guys, got into here, sorry. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode.